Hi, my name is Maria Morgan Kanyui. I'm a lecturer in film practice at Lancaster University Institute for Contemporary Arts. I work on representation of women in Middle Eastern cinema, specifically Iranian cinema. And because I'm also a filmmaker, uh, usually my research also looks at what's going on behind the camera. I believe in order to achieve a more gender balanced film industry, we require some infrastructural and cultural change. But when we say film industry, which film industry are we talking about? Because gender disparity in different contexts has reached different levels. Wonderful works are being done across the world on women in the film industry. And I believe if in order to have an impact and help the policymakers make the right decisions, us as researchers and educators, need to work together and learn from each other's findings and then find what works, trying to find ways to adapt them, implement them within our own cultural context. I work on Iranian cinema and I can say Iranian film industry is not that different from the rest of the world. In that respect, the women are more active in certain aspects of the industry and in certain technical aspects, they're missing greatly. But at the same time, I'm personally not that interested in those initial numbers of how many women are we see are active at a certain time within the industry. Because if you look at it that way, Iran is producing a healthy number of female directors per year. What I'm interested in is actually looking at how many of those female directors have continued their work and made a career out of it within the industry. Directors who've made more than two films, and they're not just one-time hit wonders. What I like to see in Iran and elsewhere is that women can take part in all aspects of film production without the need to sacrifice any aspect of their life. I believe this is equally true for men in the industry, although perhaps our societies are still more accepting of absent fathers than mothers, so what I think is important is not just to break the taboos about what sort of roles women can take in the industry, but equally create an environment that is more accepting, is a lot more family friendly, for women to be able to choose to be part of the industry, as well as having a life outside their professional life. What a witness in my almost two decades of being involved in the industry or having been observing it from the peripheries is that many women, when they reach a certain age, they decide to leave behind the craft they work really hard to excel in, in order to have a life outside their professional life, a life that the film industry wouldn't allow them to have otherwise. My research began by looking at representation of women in Iran in cinema. And the big change and shift, one can argue, started by the early 1990s, which also coincided by the entrance of the first female feature film directors who also focused their films and their lens on women's issues. Having focused my research on the works of female directors in the Middle East and female-centric films in general, I've been always kind of curious about the fact that a lot of these directors that I've been looking at have made one or two films and then we don't hear about them anymore. So I've been doing research on Iranian cinema, looking at those directors who seemingly have not made a career in the industry, meaning have not made more than two films, and trying to find out why that is and compare them from, with those uh, female directors who have a career within the industry and have made more than three films. Having done a preliminary research in the Iranian film industry, I do have some... Having uh, done a preliminary research in the Iranian film industry, I do have some hypotheses as why certain film directors have managed to secure a career within the industry and some others have not. But I'm still waiting funding and time to go do some field work to find out why that is and get to the root of it.